All right, in Chalk Talk today, we are looking at a different way to fix our schools. What do you think about a public school run solely by teachers? Is that like letting the, the, the inmates run the asylum? No principals, no administrators, administrators, just teachers making the decisions on how their schools should be run. Well, you know what? The concept is starting to catch on. In L.A. this year, more than 29 schools have been turned over to a local group of teachers to run. In Detroit, they're opening a principal-free elementary school where the motto is, quote, where teachers lead, children succeed. Another school in Boston started last year without a principal, being run by the Boston Teachers Union. And in Newark, New Jersey, the Brick Avon Academy just opened with six teachers running things. One of them is with me today. Let's meet Dominique Lee. He's the executive director of Brick, which stands for Building Responsible, Intelligent, Creative Kids. Dominique, thank you for being with us. Well, what's the problem with principals now? I, I thought we were just, we were, this country goes on tears of blaming teachers and blaming parents and blaming the system, and now we're blaming, blaming principals. Why do we want schools without principals again? Well, technically, we are not blaming principals, and we still have a principal who we consider our master teacher. Um, her name is Miss Charity Haygood. Um, her main purpose uh, at the school is pretty much to build teachers and build, uh, coach them to the next level. So while we still have an administrator that basically does the evaluation of teachers and coaching of teachers, all the other decisions are still are given over to our governance body, which is comprised of teachers. Hey, let me just get this out of the way because I don't want it to be the focus of our conversation. But if you are all running the operation, then nobody can fire a teacher. Uh, no, Ms. Haygood has full authority over the evaluation of teachers. <laughs> all right. So the Avon uh, Brick Academy, the Brick Avon Academy, uh, you've just taken this over. The teachers are now running the show. Uh, this has been a, a troubled school. 38% uh, of the students in 2009 passed language arts, 14% pass math. Now compare that to 82.5% uh, statewide passing language arts and 71% uh, statewide passing math. So you're definitely going into a situation where something has got to change in the school. That's correct. Um, something does have to change, and our model is that if we empower the practitioners in our classroom um, to be the best that they can be, we will start to see a difference in the school. When teachers feel like they have ownership in the school and the mission, we will start to see a change. For example, Ms. Perry Lewis, in just a week's time, once she heard about the mission of Brick and infusing her into the school community, she's gone um, full steam ahead, pretty much infusing what the mission is into our lesson plans. Um, and also another addition is Ms. Oliveira, who's a, f a very fascinating third grade teacher. Um, she wanted to laminate her projects for a class. Uh, when she asked where she, uh, who could laminate her stuff, we informed her that now we're, since we're empowering teachers, right. teachers have full access to all the amenities of the school. Now, let's talk about this. This is a, this is a school in, uh, in Newark. It's in a poor, crime-ridden, mm -hmm. tough area, 650 students, K through eighth grade. Uh, <clears throat> clearly, some of the underperforming uh, <clears throat> measures in this school have got to do with uh, other things other than the teachers. How much can you make a difference uh, by having teachers running the school? Uh, we can do a ton. It's a huge difference that can be made. The practitioners in the classroom are the fundamental change for changing around our urban education schools. Underneath the vision of Mr. Dr. Janey um, and his strategic plan, he calls for us transforming our um, filling schools into international knowledge schools. And by that is doing innovative products like we have. And when we empower the practitioner in the classroom, give, her the t give him or her the tools that are necessary and have a master teacher in Ms. Haygood and coach them to the next level, we will start to see a difference. Teachers are the answer to most of our situations. Your, your master teacher, and, is, is, and is she also, uh, does she teach? She does teach. Every administrator in our building teaches between 30 and 45 minutes a day. Um, this year, Ms. Haga has us concentrating on the first grade. Okay, so the idea is that you're all teaching. So people making decisions are also in the classroom, so you don't have some issue with somebody making decisions that may not be the best in the best interest of the kid. Is that the point? Um, can you repeat the question? I'm sorry. Okay. The point of this is that people who are teaching are also the administrators, so you don't have people making decisions that are not in the best interests of the kids. That's correct. All right. Uh, you are. You look very young. You're 25 years old. You've been teaching for about three years. How do you know so much about the, how That's to solve correct. the problem? How do you know so much about how to solve this problem? Well, that's a fascinating thing. Um, I taught at the inner city high school, and um, pretty much 
could not handle the system of failure that I was seeing at my high school. I knew that I had limitations, and that's why I came together with five of my um, master teacher friends, and we came together, and we formed BRIC, which was Building Responsible, Intelligent, Creative Kids. That is our mission. And I knew that we all had different strengths. Um, for example, Ms. Hagel is a master teacher. She understands coaching of teachers. Ms. Superpret, she understands curriculum. Um, Ms. Whiteman, she understands operations and data. Ms. Scott, she understands um, um, inter literacy intervention. And then Ms. Um, Princess Williams, she understands early um, childhood literacy. So we came together. And while I, it was just me that started it, it was pretty much us coming together and marrying of our skills that has brought this project to fruition. Fantastic. I'm going to come and visit it when, uh, when I'm up in the New York area. I, I'd love to see how this uh, works out. Yes, Dominic, please come by. Thank you very much for being with us. Tell you, you've just got a lot of enthusiasm and excitement about you. That alone has got to be good <laughs> for the kids. Thanks for being with us. Dominic Lee is the founding teacher of the Brick Avon Academy uh, in uh, Newark, uh, New Jersey.